They say, God gives you free will, right? I said, yeah. So you, we have freedom to choose. You know, everyone has freedom to choose. And you might say, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, everyone has freedom to choose. Okay. So then why does he punish people for making cho choices? Isn't that not fair? Uh, just because you, you choose something that he, he doesn't like, why does he punish you? Why does he punish you? That's not fair. If you're not harming anybody, if you're not harming anyone, why is he punishing you? Well, simple reason. You see, in the Aqidah of individualism, because they believe that you own yourself, you own yourself completely, they've, they've made God to be just like another, another individual, someone else, who's interfering in your life by telling you what to do. And likewise, you know, if your neighbor tells you to, uh, let's say you have a neighbor and your neighbor says to you, uh, you know that red jumper you're wearing? I hate it. Don't wear it anymore. And then next day, you continue wearing it because you think, why is my neighbor telling me this? And then you, you're still wearing a red jumper and then your, your neighbor basically punches you for wearing a red jumper that he didn't like. You say, how dare you punish me? It's not your business to tell me what to do. That's exactly how the individualist would see God. He's, a, he's another individual. I'm my own individual. Why is he interfering in my business? Telling me what to do if I'm not harming anyone. Oh, they don't mind God punishing people for harming other people because they say, you know, human judges do that. In the courts, in the police. Oh, they don't mind that. But if God is punishing you for doing sins or not worshipping him, they say, why is it God's business to demand people worship him? Right? He doesn't need it. So why is it his business to ask you to worship, worship me? And then he punishes you for not worshipping him. That's not his business. Because they treat God like he's a neighbor. They don't treat God like God is the one who owns you. He's sustaining you. And he created you for a purpose. And that good and bad isn't about consent. Good and bad is whether you are following the purpose he created for us or not. And, and I explain that. If you have a car, I know everyone here drives lots of cars around in these big wide open uh, roads, not so much in London, there's too much traffic, so people just take public transport. But if you have a car, right, what's the purpose of a car? Can anyone tell me? What's its purpose? Take you from point A to point B. Okay, good. So if you have a car that can take you from point A to point B, is it, a good, is it a good or bad car? Okay, it's a good car. I mean, there, there, there can always be things that are better, but let's say it's a good car. Let's say you have a car that has no engine and no wheels. Is it a good or bad car? Sorry? You don't think it's a car at that point? Yes, yeah, a good point. Um, but is it a good or bad car? Let's say it has wheels, but no engine. Or let's say it has an engine, but it's broken. It's a bad car. Why is it a bad car? Yeah. It's not fulfilling the purpose. That's what good and bad it means. You're good if you're fulfilling the intention or the purpose that the creator of the entire universe intended for you. And you're bad if you don't fulfill the intention that he created for you. Your purpose as a creative thing, like the car is a creative thing. So that's what good and bad is. And Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when he, he created everything, creation itself is a manifestation of God's power. Your existence is an ayat of Allah. Your existence is a proof of Him. There is, then there is nothing else. We have no other purpose other than then to be an ayat of Allah. You have no other purpose than to be something that glorifies God in, and, and it, um, proves or manifests His ability to create. You bear witness, your body bears witness to God's existence. So if you, if you then choose with your free will not to bear witness to God's existence, then this is a very big crime. And He has, he has full right to demand this because 
Well, he made you, he created you, and he's currently sustaining you and everything else for that purpose. There is no other conceivable purpose that we could ever have, ever.